What up? This is Raw Hip Hopper 93, not R A Whip Hopper, not the Whopper, not the Whip Whopper. <laughs> Raw Hip Hopper 93 bringing it to you live. This is my review on uh, Call of Duty Ghost versus Black Ops 2. Um, Black Ops 2, I played it later, not when it came out, but actually much later, towards the end when Call of Duty Ghost was about five or some months away from coming out. And I had fun playing it, I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed the Tron camo. The camos, I think they did a really good job in that. Um, the gameplay was good, but... For me, it was too much turn, shoot, spawn, die. Um, you know, just stuff like that. And some, most of the maps that I played, I got three out of the four map packs. I can't remember which one. The one that had the skate park, uh, the snow map, <laughs> studio and whatnot. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember the names. It's been a while since I played it. Um, and the kill streaks were good. I had fun with the kill streaks. They brought some of that over to Call of Duty Ghost. Um, I just felt like <clears throat> the submachine guns overpowered against the assault rifles and LMGs, long range wise, and just because like don't get me wrong, submachine guns are good, but they're they're not gonna beat somebody with an LMG across the map or assault rifle. You know, close mid to long range. There, I mean. Yeah, yes and no, in my opinion. So, I gave that game 8.5 out of 10. And I'm going to go with Call of Duty Ghost being the better game than Black Ops 2, in my opinion. Because the maps are bigger. You can lean when you go up against objects. You have the ability to lean only peek your head and arms out with the gun. Which I think is a cool factor instead of just always running and just taking a knee, you know? Just like, bump, 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 crouch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's, I think it's a lot better to be able to run, slide. I like the support kill streaks a lot. I run them on uh, all my classes but one. I run Assault with the dog, the chopper gunner, and uh, attack helicopter. Fastest time I got that was under three minutes, I believe, possibly under two and a half, I don't know. It's on my videos. Um, the dog is good. They made it. I think they did an update where it dies a little bit faster. I play mostly hardcore. I run silencers on pretty much all my guns. Overkill on some classes. Um, canister bombs. Uh, the red grenade. I don't remember the name. And uh, the stuff to stay away from all the sensors. <clears throat> excuse me, and, and hide from all of that, and Blink Pro, the AK, gotta love it, Vector, the Vepper, um, the IA-2, which I use, my preferred weapon with thermal and silencer, um, the graphics, I think, are a lot better, Black Ops 2 did a good job on the graphics, don't get me wrong, especially with the guns, and the surrounding, but I think Call of Duty Ghosts outdid themselves a lot in this game. And, uh, what else is there? You know, the bigger maps. The, uh, the squad members are good. You can, um, run them in to capture points. You can still always die with the, the support class and still get your stuff. Get the Odin, which I run. Call stuff in, help out the teammates. Get that point on hardcore domination. And I think the assault rifles and the LMGs, they did a good job with uh, making them more powerful than some machine guns at mid to long range. And especially the marksman classes, I run almost, I think, all of them. MK-14, ACOGs, I run it all day. Uh, the one that looks like an M4, M27 or something, M28. Burst, fire, silencer all day. Uh... You know, I don't remember all my classes, but that's some of the stuff I run. This The campaign, I didn't play the campaign for Black Ops 2. I mean, I think I did. I played a little bit. But the campaign on Call of Duty Ghost was unbelievable. I mean, 9.5 9 or 9 out of 10. Too short, in my opinion. 
you know, but if you play it, I think you'll really enjoy it. You get to be in outer space, underwater. You get to control more stuff in the single player. Stuff that you have to activate or just do. Follow the squad and have them do, or doing stuff that they ask you instead of you just always leading it and just, you know, follow the leader and just open fire. Um... Being able to be the dog is really cool. I, I enjoyed the... My favorite part was probably the space with the satellites and when you're at the ballpark were probably my two favorites. I mean, just realistic, you know, just in the city chilling and parts, you know, actually doing stuff and just, instead of just running around killing. So I think the campaign was better, although I didn't complete the full campaign on Black Ops 2. Um... My opinion, just the overall gameplay is just a lot better in Call of Duty Ghost. I haven't touched Black Ops 2. I've been getting down on Call of Duty World at War. And uh, I think I got some of my classes up here. I got Call of Duty Ghost loaded. Um, what I will admit that I miss about Black Ops 2 is the, uh, the lobbies the battle lobbies or whatever they were called where it was like four versus four in a mix and you get ranked not just the regulars I mean they have uh, clan wars but uh, you know it's just it's cool but I miss the old factor of going back and being able to play those lobbies and like I said mostly ACOG silencers these are just most of my classes boom I don't know if you can tell. MK14 Vepper, AK12, Bling Pro, Bison, Bling Pro, Vector, Bling Pro, MR28, CBJ, MS, Uzi, and my preferred IA2, Sonsor Thermal. And the game objectives, um, turn on the light here, it's kind of dark. The game objectives, I find a lot better in this than I did in Black Ops 2. I hated headquarters, especially for the game modes. I, I couldn't stand it. So they added in, I haven't played Heavy Duty, but I've played Cranked, which is fun, you know, to get you warmed up, or if you just want to take a break from the serious gameplay. Blitz is fun if you have teammates on your team. I'm just going to say it straight up. Because you'll get people that just run it in all day, and your team will be scattered. If you're playing with randoms, they're not that good. Um, it's fun though. Search and Rescue, my one of my favorites. Infected's fun, you know, if you just want to kick back, take a break, you know, like crank. You get to be a zombie and whatnot. Kill Confirmed. I play that on regular, not so much hardcore, because you can't see the tags, and that makes it really hard to be able to play the game. Domination, I stick to hardcore. Hunted, I haven't played. I'll have to try it out. Free for All, Team Tactical. And Ghost Mosh Pit, because I have the season pass, I really enjoy. All fun. Uh, hardcore, I mostly get down on everything here, except for the Hardcore Team Deathmatch. Um, and just, I think they did an... Uh, and customizing your own guy is really a cool factor, too, that they put in Call of Duty Ghost. Instead of just always looking the same, or the same guy is always running around, you get to be... You get to customize your guy, different outfits, different masks. I think they put a lot more emblems in. I'm not sure. It seems like they put a lot more in. And I think the gunplay is just really um, good. And I got to give Call of Duty Ghost a 9.7, 9.8 out of 10 beating Black Ops 2. Don't get me wrong. I had fun with it.